Denver International, of course, has pretty bad rap when it comes to car thefts, and for good reason. But tonight, there's a small victory. More than a dozen people indicted, 120 counts over stealing cars from DIA and surrounding areas. Nine of those people are behind bars. Four others still on the run, and this is an issue we've reported on extensively as Colorado leads the nation in auto thefts per capita. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon spoke with one man who doesn't believe enough is being done. It's Saturday night. I'm ready to get home. Walking through the garage at Denver International Airport. It's a sinking feeling in your stomach. Dr. Kenneth Burson, a Denver dentist, never found his truck. It's like a real life God in 60 seconds. I've had my car stolen now twice. He says the most recent time was around a month ago when he came back from a quick trip and his Dodge truck was gone. I'm not completely confident that there's enough being done. The airport says nearly 400 vehicles were reported as stolen from their parking lots through July of this year. A shopping mall for a would-be thief. Kale Gould is part of the Colorado Auto Theft Prevention Authority, whose task force followed more than a dozen suspects for over a year before indicting an organized group of 13 people who allegedly stole cars from several places, including DIA between February of 2022 and March of this year. This group was stealing vehicles for the purpose of smash and grab burglaries where they would break in the doors of businesses, loop the businesses. But he says there is some good news. So far this year, the number of auto thefts in Colorado are down around 20 percent. And for the Denver Metro, they've decreased about 25 percent. Are those numbers at all encouraging to someone who just had their truck stolen a month ago? I wouldn't say it's encouraging because you know that that's the tip of the iceberg. In a statement, DIA says they continue to diligently try and address this issue, and they've been implementing effective strategies to prevent auto thefts. Over the last few months, the airport says more than 50 arrests have been made. Once I see a bigger tide change, I might have more positive things to say. But Burson says he'll never park at DIA again. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And as Colette mentioned, the world's third busiest airport is taking steps to tackle the issue. DIA announces summary it is implementing the following security measures. The airport's increasing security patrols. It's installing 15 advanced mobile cameras in parking lots and expanding their permanent security camera coverage. It's also adding an alert system to detect stolen vehicles entering lots and adding new physical barriers to prevent thieves from damaging gates and leaving the lots. And Denver police launched a program this year to try to keep your parked vehicle where you parked it. It's called Denver Track. It allows officers to electronically track a stolen vehicle. Car owners have to sign up for the program, give police authorization to track the vehicles in the event of a theft. Now, owners are given a sticker for the vehicle. The sticker says it will be tracked by police if stolen. And DPD says that uh, they will only track the stolen vehicle if it is reported stolen.